Jimmy, we're here with the PixPad 16. Um, what are we looking at? We're looking at a fairly lightweight LED fixture which has fairly big pixels. If, mm. we're, if we're going to be realistic about it and say mm. we're going to use it for pixel mapping, these are probably, you know, 80 or 90 mil in mm. diameter. So we're going to need to stack a few of them together to do that. Mm. Fortuitously enough, there is a system which allows us to insert one of these little uh, drivers in the back and then rotate mm. to lock adjacent panels onto each other. Now I wouldn't go hanging a big rig of panels all off these locks. There are mm -hmm. additional rigging points on the back of the unit. Mm -hmm. uh, I would consider that more an alignment tool, but it's going to line them up very nicely. Mm. Okay, great. Uh, now, once we've uh, got them all rigged and hung, uh, what options do we have to actually map across this array? Okay, look, if, if we don't care about controlling individual cells of the fixture, mm. we can actually address it in a short form DMX protocol, which I think is about five channels. Right. And that gives us, you know, sort of color and and some basic macro functionality and so on. And I mean, you could address all of them on the same address and still call up the same macros and you still have pretty good looking effects. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to go a bit more advanced than that and map it, you can control RGB values for every cell individually. Obviously right. it's going to use more DMX channels when you do that. Okay, all right. How's its brightness and performance? Look, its brightness is good. Uh, there's a lot of punch out of this. Um, mm -hmm. Especially when you consider how wide the beam is, you know, it's, it's basically a 180 degree beam. Right. I don't know that it's specified uh, as that or that it's actually specified, but it, it's a very wide beam and it pushes out a lot of light. It's quite flat as well. Mm -hmm. At low levels, uh, I think the dimming's a bit sort of notchy and, and you, if you're trying to generate white on it, because it is an RGB fixture, there's no mm. dedicated white LEDs. Right. Trying right. to generate white at extremely low intensities, mm -hmm. you do see some color variations across the cells, okay. uh, and that's quite obvious, but no one's gonna care. No mm. one's ever gonna do that. No. Uh, that's the kind of thing we do in a review, and then, then think, oh, this is an observation we've mm. made that's of no consequence in the real world. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fair enough. So ultimately pretty good value for money. Yeah, look, great value for money. It, it, it does a lot, it get a lot of output and uh, it's a great little fixture. Great.